What's up peeps? Welcome back to another episode of Road to the Stage. This is episode five now and today I'm gonna to take you through one of my back days. I have two back days but I'll explain the difference when we're on the way. And we also might go to pennies because your bike needs some new boxers and new socks. So I'll probably take you along with that too. And yeah, let's get this show on the road, baby. Let's go. House of Games, my peeps. Do you remember that dance back in the day at the little discos, the, the box? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, thought we were absolute shit. Yep, the bum diggity. <laughs> oh, jeez. Good times, good times. So, what I want to touch on, I was just thinking about on the way in, right? You see me, Julie, here, my, like, my pride and joy, as you all know. Um, like, I was just thinking about it. I was told so many times to sell this car because when I got it at first you should have seen it, it was in an absolute wreck it was terrible, it was embarrassing but I loved the car itself it just didn't look that great, it was real run down and bet so like I got a few people like offering to buy it off me and like everybody was telling me to sell it you know it's a ball of shite, get rid of it, it's too old this that and the other right but you know I didn't give in because I have that no quit mentality where I was like no gonna make this work I'm gonna get it looking pretty again and aesthetic and you know after a long ass time it's finally right now and it just it just goes to show like you know if you have a dream like that not everybody else can understand it could be so much small like having a car right but not not everybody understands how big of a dream that is to you they don't see your vision so like I wouldn't have this car now if I had to listen to everybody telling me to sell it, you know? So, the moral of the story is, this car has now doubled in value since when I bought it first. So, because they're so rare, they're hard got, and now everybody seems to want one. So the value is shot up. So, as you can tell that, I'm absolutely delighted. And delighted I didn't listen to anyone when they were telling me to sell it. And, you know, didn't give in to anybody offering to buy it off me, you know. So, and plus, like, I love driving a car that you don't see many of them on the road. It's a good feeling. I have a big fear of being the same as everybody else. So, I don't know. I'm delighted I have this little bar by now, me Julie. So, that's. I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, we're getting close to the gym here now, right? So when I get there. I'll just give a little update on my first week of prep and what I'm wearing and stuff like that. So I'll talk to you soon. We are outside shaking the pre work here, getting psyched up before we go in and hit back and biceps, baby. So I have two back days. One is more weight focus, where I'll do a lot of pull down variations. Then the other one is like more thickness focus, where you see me do a lot of rows. And that's what today falls on, actually. So. I'm looking forward to it now, you get to see. And I just want to talk about my little update on how the first week of prep is gone. So this is first seven days, finito, ticked off. And I will start with my weight this morning was 212 pounds and three quarters. So that gives me a total drop of four pounds this week. Now, that may seem like a lot, but it's because of the McDonald's I had on the Sunday and because there's so much salt in that, my weight shot up to 217 the next day. So I don't think like it's a legit four pounds I lost. It's just a lot of water weight I dropped, you know what I mean? So it's definitely not all body fat, so my peeps. Um, but yeah, it's all going good. We are, I don't know how many weeks out to be fair. <laughs> I'm gonna have to really look at the calendar and um, figure it out because I also have to like book hotels uh, you know, I like register for the bodybuilding show. There's a lot of things I haven't done yet, so I need to kind of pull the finger out. I've just been super busy, like with my personal training business, because it's really took off in the last eight weeks. I've got 14 clients there, so it's been absolutely crazy this last two months. But we're loving every minute of it. And um, yeah, I'm gonna sip this pre worky let it kick in, and go in and fuck. Shit up. <laughs> okay. You are mine. 
next three months. That means no women, no alcohol, no drugs. You will eat, sleep, and shit competition. Don't be late. Don't ever be late. It shows disrespect to me, to the sport, and to your teammates. Remember that we will accomplish our objective. Our only objective, which is to win. That is a wrap. Back and biceps smashed. It was actually quite busy in there today, boy. So we are just out in the car. Got my post workout meal. It is 85 grams of Cocoa Pops mixed with 50 grams of whey protein. And I got the chocolate one back, thank God. So it's absolutely lovely. And we got one Rice crispy bar. Because I ate one pre workout. I'm going to, I'm supposed to have two after, but. I like to have one pre-workout just to get that extra bit of pump so it's all the one pre and post you know so and we are going to get this down and then we are going to go down to pennies and pick up a few bras not from this big chest and offer we need a uh, boxers and socks so i'll see you down there we are in pennies my peeps and i found just what i was looking for oh, for these pecs. Look at them bad boys. Look at that. Perfect colour suits me, doesn't it? <laughs> we found a pair of my peeps, look. SpongeBob. Look at them bad boys. But no, they're too small. I don't really have much of a choice because there's literally no mediums. <laughs> There are no mediums anywhere. 
all extra small, large, you know. I think I literally just have one choice. This is the only ones that have medium, so very bad now out of pennies and I'm very disappointed with eat. I'll never be back again. So I just need socks here now and we're good to go. So, get the old umbra ones. Yep. Can't go wrong. I'm gonna give you a little fun fact, right? I actually wear two pairs of socks. <laughs> it's just a habit I picked up along the way because my runners are always a little bit loose. So I have to wear two pairs of socks so you can imagine the amount of socks I have to go through. So I literally have buckets full of them. So yep, we got what we came for. We're gonna go up and pay for them now. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, it's actually a fair lot more awkward walking around pennies with the camera than it is done stores, isn't it? Mm. I don't know, it just seems a lot quieter and everybody's like wondering what's going on. <laughs> Who's this that in case? Put his socks on boxes recording himself. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of episode 5. Brought to the stage. So my peeps, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. So peace out, Cubs Scouts.